Hello, Jonathan. Are you there? Hi. Good evening. Hi. How are you? Um, I'm okay, and you? Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Finishing off this week, huh? Sorry? Finishing off the week. Right? Just uh, one more day of the week, and that will be it. Uh, I no, no, I didn't understand. That we are finishing the week. Ah, uh, yeah, this one the more day? last last day. Mm -hmm. the, yeah. the final day. Oh yeah. Yeah. I remember. I forgot that that notice. Yes, but you're finished, right? The platform, Jonathan. Yeah, yeah, I finished. Right. That's yeah, okay. All right. So you should you shouldn't have any problems then. Okay. okay. Yeah. Good. Hi, Carla. How are you? Carla, can you hear us? Maybe she's having problems with her connection. Okay. <clears throat> um, so, uh, so today we are we're going to today our class is going to be. Excuse me. <coughs> Just give, me give me a moment. I'm going to get some water. Sorry about that. All of a sudden, my my throat was dry. Um, okay, so um, so today the plan is uh, to practice the last part of um, uh, the the last thing that we saw yesterday. We saw some information yesterday, and um, I wanted to have the opportunity of being able to practice a little bit. Also, the other thing I want to do is to go over the final exam, right? So if you guys have any questions about the final exam, then I can help you out with anything you need. So um, let's start, first of all, by um, going over the what we saw yesterday. Can you see the whiteboard? Yeah, I can see it, the whiteboard. Okay. Carla, are you there? Yes, she is having trouble connecting. Oh, there she is. Excuse me, Tisha. It's okay. It's okay, Carla, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you. And you? Good, good. Yeah, good to have you again. Um, how was your week? How was your day? It's good. Very good. <laughs> All right. Excellent. All right. Um, and uh, are you finished the platform, Carla? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Okay. I'm very happy to hear that. Okay. Yeah. So um, what we're going to do, like I, I was explaining, uh, I like to be able to go over the information that we saw yesterday, mm -hmm. which is about um, making making suggestions and opinions about the past. Okay. Um, so, making. Sorry, I just want to. Okay, there you go. So we have making suggestions uh, suggestions about the. Okay, suggestions and sorry. 
suggestions and uh, giving opinions. Ah, my keyboard is all weird right now. There we go. Giving uh, opinions. 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 about the past. Okay, so that's going to be our topic. Um, we saw this yesterday, but we didn't get a chance to practice. So that's what I'd like us to do today. Okay. So making suggestions uh, and giving opinions about the past. Now, if you think about it, making suggestions about the past, about something that happened in the past, and giving opinions about something that happened in the past is really something that we, we like to do, but we really can't change anything, okay? So even if we give the suggestion or we give our opinion, it's too late to change anything. It's impossible, okay? We're, it's, just, it's just something that we as human beings like to do, we like to share our opinions, we like to give suggestions, but we know that many times something of the past cannot be changed. It's way too late to do something, okay? All right, so I was explaining yesterday that, I was explaining yesterday that, um, let's see, there we go. Just a little straighter. Oh, not that straight. More or less. Oh, I know what's going on. Okay. Oh, I'll just save it like that. Okay, so um, we said that given opinions uh, and making suggestions, we use models, right? So um let's uh talk about the first one okay when we give a suggestion when we make a suggestion um oops okay so when we make a suggestion So suggestions, what model do we use? Who remembers? What models do we use? Or what is it, what model do we use to make a suggestion? Who remembers? Uh, what? Um, no. Which one do we use? Who remembers to make a suggestion? The suggestion is like an advice, okay? So if it makes it easier for you, we can say that it's an advice. Sure. Good, exactly. We use should, okay? Yeah? Sure. All right, sounds good? Might? No, just should, only should right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Now, when we are giving us uh, an opinion, when we give an opinion, Um, what's, what is the model that we use? What model do we use? Anybody remember what model we use to give an opinion? I think so in the world. 
Sorry, Daniel. What was that? What? Good. Exactly. We use good. Exactly. And of course, uh, if well, what happened? And of course, if it's negative, we're going to say wouldn't. Right? That would be our negative. Okay. All right. So those are the two structures. Sorry, those are the two models that we use when we um, want to uh, talk about a suggestion or opinion. So this would be negative, we shouldn't. Okay. However, we're talking about things of the past. So to make it past, what is what is the word that we use to make it the past? What is the word that I told you yesterday that we always use to make it or to show that it's of the past? Because if I just say to you, you should, um, I don't know, you should finish the final exam first before finishing section five. That's a suggestion of the present, right? But if I want to show that it's the past, what do I use? Anybody? What word do we what word did we say that we could use? You remember? Okay. The word that always makes the models negative, oh, sorry, the models in the past is the word have. Okay? So when you, you use have, then we automatically know that we're talking about the model in the past. Okay? Got it? Got it. Okay. Got it. Got it, teacher. Wonderful. Okay. And after have, what do we use? Oh, and remember, it's always going to be have, independent of the subject. Okay? Independent of the subject, we're going to use have. Has. So what's the su what, what uh, do we use after have? Has. No, we never use has. It's always going to be have. So should have. So it doesn't matter. It could be I should have, you should have. He should have, she should have, um, it should have, uh, we should have, they should have. It's always going to be have, independent of what the subject is. Okay. And what goes before have? What goes after have? Who remembers? Okay, remember this from yesterday? Third plus ing. Mm, no. Anybody remembers? But good guess, though. It was a good guess. Let's see. Maybe Michelle remembers. Do you remember Michelle? No, teacher. No? Okay. All right. Um, okay. All right. Well, don't worry. I will tell you what it is. Um, you will remember once I, I put this. What is it? Ask. That's very simple. Exactly. There you go. I told you you're going to remember. Yeah, <laughs> very good. Past participle. We're just going to use the past participle. Okay. All right. And the same thing here. We're going to use the past participle. Okay. All right. And um, so that's the structure that we're going to be using. That's um, 
that's the main structure. However, uh, don't forget that we are going to have to use a subject. So um, I'm going to add the subject here. Okay, so. Let me put here that we need a subject. And yeah. No, I'll just put subject so you know what that is. Yeah. Okay. And we'll put it in a different color to make it. Let's see, we'll put it in brown. Okay. All right. So we have the subject plus shouldn't or have and has participle. Okay. Should or shouldn't have. And after that, uh, you can add, of course, the complement if you want to, right? Not necessary, but if you want, we can add a complement. Okay, sounds good. Okay, and the same thing here. Okay, um, so the same thing here, uh, we would put the subject over here. Okay, so subject, plus wood, sorry, plus wood or wouldn't. Okay, and the half plus, um, Plus, plus participle, and if you want, you can add a complement over here. Okay. Okay, there you go. So that's the structure that we would be using. Okay, let me just close it off so you can, so you know that this is the structure that we have to use. Okay, so what are some examples? Let's say that um, um, let's say that um, okay, let's imagine that I went to um. I don't know. I went to a trip to the United States. Okay. Okay. Let's imagine you went on a trip to the United States. And um, I'm going to give you suggestions of things that you should have done when you were in the United States. But of course, this is way too late because you are no longer in the United States. You already came back. So you can't do anything about it. But I'm going to give you some suggestions. Okay. To give you an example, we would say, um, okay, for example, um, no, let me change. Let me change it to, okay, black, a little bit of blue. Okay, so we can say, you. should have visited um you should have this um oh no no maybe say not say not visited let's say you should have practiced your English you should have practiced your English um Okay, <clears throat> or for example, um, you should have, um, you should have, uh, 
you should have taken him with you. Okay, so that would be like a suggestion, right? Obviously, you can't take me with you. And it's something of the past, you can't do anything, you can't change anything anymore. Okay, but these are some, some, some ideas here. Or for example, we can make a negative. You, uh, you shouldn't uh -huh. have read the newspaper. Sorry, could you repeat that? You shouldn't have read the newspaper. You shouldn't have read the newspaper? Yeah. Okay. All right. You should have read the newspaper. Why? Because it's Diario de Hoy. Okay. What does that have to do with it? What's the, what, what, what does that have to do with it, Jonathan? I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. All right. You shouldn't have read the newspaper. I'll put it um, because now you're worried. Because now okay, you, okay. <laughs> you are worried. Okay. All right. Okay. So there we go. So notice that it, we are using the structure that I have here. Um, we are using um, should, right? I'm sorry. Let's erase that. So reason should, right? Okay. In all of them, we use should or shouldn't, right? If it's negative. Then after that, we have um, we have the word have, and notice that it doesn't change in all of them. It's exactly actually. Let me. Let me change this to put my system easier that way. Okay, so in all of them we have the word have. It's not has, it's always have. Okay, independent of, of what the subject is, but we're going to use the word have. Okay. Um, All right, and here we have another half as well. Uh, by the way, like I said before, it doesn't really matter what the subject is. For example, if the subject was she, for example, instead of saying you, we say she, it still would be have, okay? So that doesn't change. She shouldn't have read the newspaper. And oh, well, to make sense, I'll, I'll change because of you, because she, Because she is worried now. Okay, so she shouldn't have read the newspaper because she's worried now. So like I said, it doesn't matter what the subject is. It's always going to be she shouldn't have, he shouldn't have, they shouldn't have, we shouldn't have, or, what it, or should, right? Okay, and then the past participle, we use, um, Right here we have practiced, here we have taken. And then here we have read. Does that make sense? Sounds good? Yeah, yeah, teacher. Questions? You want to ask them? No, no. You sure? No? Okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume that this is clear for everybody. Okay. All right. So now let's talk about um, opinions. Um, okay. 
Okay, so you can say, for example, um, I wouldn't have, um, I wouldn't have given him so much or yeah, so much responsibility. Okay. I wouldn't have given him so much responsibility. Um, or I would, sorry, I would have um, told him the truth. Or um, I would have, um, I would have, uh, let's say, I would have, uh, trying to use, seen, okay, I would have seen a doctor before it got worse. Okay, so these are opinions. Uh, that the person is giving about something that happened in the past. Obviously, like I said, you can't change the past. Therefore, these are just opinions um, that you can't really change. But you know, you're just like, it's way too late to do something about it, okay? So here we have a uh, negative wouldn't. In this one, we have would. Here we have would, okay? And then we have the, um, then we have have, okay? We always use have, okay? Independent of anything, it's always gonna be have after would or wouldn't, okay? And, um, and then finally, we have the, the past participle given, Told and see. Oops. And see. Oh. Okay, let me just um, erase by accident here. Okay. There you go. Okay. All right. So, what do you guys think about this? Is it clear or do you have any questions, problems? No, no. Teacher. Out? <laughs> no. It's clear, Jonathan? No, it's clear. Okay. It's clear. All right, good. Carla, is it clear? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, good. Uh, Irania, is it clear? Yes, teacher, I have a question. And these yeah. sentences no need a uh, comma? No. No, you don't need a comma. No, not at all. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because they're not, these are not conditionals. I know we're using the word, the word would, but, the, but it's not a conditional. Remember, uh, I think I've said this before, uh, models, are used for different reasons, okay? In this case, we're using would to give an opinion of the past, but would can be also used for conditions, right? So it's it's gonna be, it's gonna change, right? It's gonna change um, if for, you know, depending on the subject, okay? Or oh, sorry, but depending on the, on the context, right? So, um, that's the reason why we don't need a comma because it's not a conditional. Does that does that make sense, Irania? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Good. Thank you. Good. All right. Any other questions, Irania? Questions? Not the teacher. It's okay. okay. All right. Good. Uh, Michelle, is that clear for you as well, or do you have any questions? 
No, teacher, it's okay. Okay, okay, very good. And what about Marcella? Do you have any questions, Marcella? Are you there, Marcella? Yes, I'm here. Okay, good. Do you have any questions? Uh, a little bit. Okay. What questions do you have? No, I, I, actually, I'm not have any question. Are you sure? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. Um, so I'm going to get you guys to practice. Uh, so is this, this is very clear for everybody, right? Okay, all right. So if you want, you can take a picture. I'll give you a second there, one more minute to take a picture. Okay, are you guys ready? Okay, I'm going to stop sharing right now. And I'm going to get you to work in groups. I'm going to um, make you work in breakout rooms. Um, and what you're going to do is the following. You're going to be telling your partner you're going to, uh, or your partner, so it could be, um, about a situation um, of the past, any situation of the past that you would like to have, um, something that, that happened that uh, maybe it didn't work out the way you wanted it to. Um, it, you Maybe a, a situation, something that, that um, some a decision maybe that you you made that um, didn't have a very good uh, turnout and you want your your partner to give you an opinion or a suggestion about it. Of course, it's too late, but still you maybe you might need it for the future so that in the future you don't um, make the same mistake. Maybe in the future things will turn out a little bit different. So um, right now I'm gonna do, assign you to your groups I'm going to give you, I would say, I won't give you so much time. Um, I think about eight more minutes. Yeah, about eight minutes I'll, I'll give you um, so that you can work in the groups and um, share your ideas, okay? Are the instructions clear for everybody or do you have any questions? No, teacher. Okay, good. Okay, all right, I'm gonna get you. So everybody's clear on the instructions? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna take that, that everybody's clear. So I'm going to right now open the groups and I will, um, I will visit you in a moment, okay? Here we go. Let's open all the, all the rooms, are the rooms?
three sentences, but never, never can write, rewrite the sentence in the correct form. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a difficult because, yes, me too. Hi, hello. <laughs> hello, Jessica. <laughs> hello, hello, hello there. Um, Did you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's okay, don't worry. Um, do, you, do you guys have any questions? Do you girls have any questions that you, I can help you with? About the activity, I don't have any questions. About the platform, yes, of course, I have <laughs> some questions. Have lots of questions. I couldn't complete the platform. <laughs> okay, yeah. After after when we come back from the from um, doing this activity, I am going to answer any questions about the platform. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So go Thank ahead and, and work on the activity. Okay. Okay, teacher. Um. The example using should was you should have practiced your English. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and have you, have you, no, do you have any example about the activity? Uh, yes, I think so. Well, I guess. Um, she showed same uh, pregnant, embarrassed. Okay. I think so. I don't know. Okay. I think so. Um, I should have uh, traveled at USA, maybe. Uh, um, past the same? I don't remember. In my example, we should have gone to the beach every Friday, every Friday night. <laughs> I like that suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> and you saying good? I good. Okay, sorry. Okay. Excuse me. In my um, sentences, she showed say um, the pregnancy or how do you say? Jessica, hello. Sorry, what is the question? Uh, in my sentences, for mm -hmm. example, she should say pregnant. She should stay pregnant? No, pregnant, embarazada. Yeah, but you said she should stay pregnant? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Debe debe quedarse embarazada. Uh -huh. But if you say she should have stayed pregnant, that means ella deb deb debió haberse quedado embarazada. Decir que estaba embarazada. Oh, say. Oh, say. I have say. Yeah. She should have, okay. In that case, remember, say, we need to use the past participle. So what's the past participle of say? Yes, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so Carla, what is the past principle of say? I don't remember. Or girls, you can help her as well. Said? So, Tanya, Marcella? Marcella? <laughs> Said? The past principle? Participle of say. Yeah, exactly. The past participle of say. Okay. Said. I don't know. It did decir, verdad? Decir. Uh -huh. Say, yeah. decir. So, past okay. participle of say. Iranian, do you remember? You can ask. Not teach me. Spell. Your. What? You spell the word. 
to say. Uh huh. Um, say or oh. I don't it's remember. Said. Exactly. It's past participle of say is said. Oh, okay. I remember. It's, it's say said said. Okay. Okay. All right, so what would it be then? What would the sentence say? So, Car Carla, what would the sentence say? Um, she shows said pregnant. Uh, so she should have said she was pregnant. pregnant. Yes, it's correct. Thank you. She should have said pregnant. No, she she should have said she was pregnant. Okay. Ella debió decir que ella estaba embarazada. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. I'm going to go and help the other group, okay? So I'll come back. Or actually, I'll see you girls in a moment, okay? I'll see you over there. Uh, in the main room. Okay. Of healthy food. Yeah? Yes. It's yeah. like. Yeah. I shouldn't, I should not have eaten unhealthy food. No. Uh, it's junky, junky food. Junky food. Because, because you have uh, you have a lot of illness from that. Is. She shouldn't not have eaten. No? No, porque está contradiciendo. She should not have eaten junky food. I think it's okay to that. She no. should not eaten. She, sh she should junky not food. have eaten junky food. Your health. Your health will. Your health be better. Porque está diciendo que no quiere que coma. She shouldn't not have eaten junky food. Your health be better. Yeah? She shouldn't not have. It's junk food. Remember, it's junk food. Ah, junk. I'm sorry. Yeah. Junk food. Your health be better. Tu salud será mejor. Sí? Yes, your, your health will be better. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's right. You should not have that. Uh, in the chat is the sentence. You should not have eaten young food. Your health will be better. Okay. Uh, we, con we continue. You should not have eaten young food. Um, your health be better, no? Your health, no, because if we're talking about she. She's the one who is not in the junk food. She should not. She should, she should not. not. Uh -huh. Yes, but she is the one not. But she should. She yes. should have or she should not. No, 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 no. That's not the problem. The problem is that you're using, first you're using she and then you're using your uh, uh, her her help be better. Yeah, I'm sorry, sorry. So, so she shouldn't she should not have eaten junk food, then her health would have been better. Yeah. Would have been better. Not have then her health eaten. would have been better. Junk food. Uh, uh, her her help. Yeah. Okay. Would have been better. 
would have been better. Would have? Yes, been better. Other, other past participle, been. Yeah, been. You should not have eaten junk food, would have been. There have to be two, sentence, two separate sentences, okay? Or you put the word then. I'm going to write it here. And uh, be careful ah. because um, eaten is not um, not with double T. So I'm going to write on, in, the, in the chat. We have she should. Um, we usually put, the, we usually say shouldn't. Uh, we put it together instead of making a contraction. She shouldn't have eaten uh, junk food. She will then, no. Um, then her health would have been better. Okay, so I've written in the group. It's right in the chat. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna meet you in the in the um. What's the call? In the main room, I will see you in a moment, okay? Okay. Okay, great. So we have a, had a chance there to practice using the, to the structures. Now, um, we have a few more minutes there to look for the, about the final exam. Uh, I know some people have questions about the platform, about the final exam. Um, first of all, uh, I want to know if everybody has finished the final exam. So Jonathan, I know you're finished everything. Yeah, before. yeah, I finished, I finished. Okay, good. The final I, I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't complete my final exam. The platform, or you couldn't, um, or you couldn't finish the, fi the final exam. Uh, I was trying to, to do my best effort mm -hmm. with <laughs> final exam. Part C, rewrite sentences, but never found the correct answer. I don't know why. I try with uh, several structures, forms. <laughs> with letter C? Um, I, 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 you, you have asked me about this, right, Marcella? Uh, in, in, in the, in the, how, in, how in the written? Chat, what's the group? Uh -huh. I ask you about about um, specific question, but no, no about the exam. I don't remember what section was, but uh, no había llegado yo a la sección cinco. <laughs> okay, wait a second. I'm, I'm a little confused. Um, so, did I help you or I didn't help you uh, with the answers? Did you ask me or? Because I have the feeling that you asked me, but I don't know if I'm right or wrong. No? I'm sorry, I'm sorry Jessica. Sometimes I, I don't understand very well. Oh, okay. It's okay. Don't worry. No, I'm just, I'm wondering, did you ask me in the group about the exercise? Yeah. And what yeah. did I answer? You rewrite the sentences. But was of other, other. Uh, it was not about this one. It was, was about another exercise. 
Exercise. Is that what you're telling me? Yes, other exercise. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you haven't asked me about this one. Okay, all right. Um, okay, which one are you having problems with? One, two, or three, or all of them? The, the final exam? Mm -hmm. Is a number three. Part C, rewrite sentences. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm, yeah, I, I, I know which one you said. The instructions on say to rewrite it using the, the verbs in, in parentheses, right? So we have to use a number three a lot, right? Okay, so. Yes. Remember something, I'm going to tell you this ahead of time. Um, I've noticed that many people are having problems with number three because they're writing the word here. And the word here in the answer doesn't appear. So just if you eliminate the word here, maybe you will get the answer correct. So try doing that first. Okay, so just don't, don't put the word here. Yeah? Got it, Marcel? Mm. No. No? Todavía no? No, yet. Yes, Okay, all right, not yet, okay, not a problem. Okay, so what are you writing? What, give me the answer that you're writing. I have a trouble with that because trying to, to find the, the answer, yeah. I change the, the sentences. <laughs> Okay. Too much time. <laughs> okay, but give me what is the sentence that you wrote, or what? What do you think is the answer? Okay, the number number one mm -hmm. turn out light before you leave, and the bracket says have two, mm -hmm. and yeah. I try to to answer have to turn out the light before you leave, or uh, that that's wrong, and I tried. Again, sorry, what, sorry, sorry, Marcelo. No. Light before you sorry, sorry, uh, so for a moment, so for a moment. Tell me again the first sentence that you wrote. I have to turn out okay. the light before you leave. Okay, the problem with that one, you got it correct. The only problem you have with that one is that you forgot to put the subject. What's the subject? You. Exactly. I. So you have to say? I. No. I understand the, 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 the subject. Yo entendí que hacía falta algo, pero no aparecía en la, en la pregunta. Entonces dije, lo pongo, no lo pongo. Nunca lo puse porque no estaba. Entonces, yeah, because the thing is, the thing is that turn out the lights before you leave is an, is a, is an order. It's in the imperative form. And in the imperative form, we do not use uh, the subject. We never use the subject. It's like saying, um, you know, uh, come in, sit down. Uh, don't be late. We never say the subject. So number one, that's why it doesn't have the subject because it's a it's an order. You're, it's an imperative form. But I when, have you write, have. when you write have to, you have to, valga la redundancia, use a subject. In this case, the subject would be you. Tú tienes que, eh, que apagar las luces. Right? Does that make sense, Marcella? Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So try I'm trying that. now. <laughs> okay. All right. Good. Teacher. Yes. Yes, Carla. I have a problem in section B, five uh, B. Complete okay. the conversation. Okay. What part? What number? Number two. Number two. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, what did you write? You're not allowed, allowed to. It's wrong. I don't know. What did you write? Um. You, um. Because it um. Hay un cuadrito y están las respuestas. Uh huh. Uh, uh, okay. Bye. Number two. Yes. 
Bye. Eh, la única, okay, I'm going to tell you, it's, it's something very simple. Uh, you're, 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 you're stressed and everything, and it's something very simple. In the, in the box, it's in contracted. Mm -hmm. But in the answer, it will not allow it to be contracted. It has to be full form. So instead of, say, of saying you're allowed, you're not allowed to, say you mm -hmm. are not allowed to. Oh, that's okay. it. Okay. <laughs> it's as simple Thank as that. You. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Marcella, did that help? Did you get the answers? But uh, number one, what? That's okay. Uh -huh. Number two, no, because. <laughs> okay, what did you write in number two? No, no eating or drinking in the classroom, and my answer was you eating or drinking in the classroom, but you can't. You can't. There are two can't. activities. Not. You can't. What are the two activities? Do? No. What are the two activities? There are two activities that we have there. What can't you eating, do? Eating and drinking. Okay, so you can't? Eating. Eat? No, because we can't or, eating because remember, can is a model, model auxiliary. And model auxiliaries, do, we never put, um, we never change the verb after model. Never, never, never. We have to use the base form of the verb. Eat so we can or drink. Good. You can't eat or drink in the classroom. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. And number okay. three. Let, let me. Okay, that's all. All right, right. <laughs> Yay! All right. Okay. Any other questions? Yes, number three. Number three. Take okay, off what are your you putting? Here. Uh, number three. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what is the the, the answer. Okay. I am very honest with you, and I I, I don't know what is the answer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Take off your shoes here. Okay. So again, this is an imperative. The imperative is a, that's why it says take off your shoes. It's you, the subject is you. So in the answer, you have to start with you. Okay. And then you contract it. You are, you are, sorry, you sorry, are sorry, sorry, no, no, sorry, it's not, not, not. So it's you're or you are allowed to. Okay, you are they allowed to take off and disappear. You you're allowed to allow allowed to, to allow what? to your shoes. No, but what's the verb? Is <laughs> tu puedes que take off. Take off. <laughs> uh -huh, take off what? Okay, you're allowed with ED. Yes, or allowed with ED. Without yes. ED. Mm -hmm. okay. You're allowed to you're take allowed, off. You're allowed to take off your shoes here. Oh, no, no, no. Eliminate the here. You're allowed to take off your shoes. Oh. That's it. Okay, that's the answer. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right. Anybody else has any questions? Not teacher. No? Okay. All right. So, guys, remember, today you only have three more hours, well, a little bit less now, uh, two hours and 58 minutes to be able to complete the, the, um, it, the, the platform. Please, please, please make sure that you complete it and you have a minimum of 80% because otherwise, if you don't, we will not be able to uh, register you in the next module, okay? So guys, it's been a big pleasure having you guys. I hope you all the best for the next level. And I will um, maybe see you in the future, okay? So that will be all for, for this module. Take care, guys. Thank you, teacher. All right. Thanks, Thanks, teacher. Thank You're you. welcome. Bye. All right, bye-bye. See you, guys. Bye -bye. See, you. see you. Thanks. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good Let's night. Go.